Welcome to the 3594M VGA display. It features new graphical updates and user interface, a new alarm event acknowledge feature, and a channel view split screen that shows both bar graphs and alarm events. The 3594M by default goes to the bar graph screens. On the direct bar graphs tab, we view all of the direct measurements in the rack. In the case of channels such as relays, where a direct isn't available, a suitable alternative is shown. The 1x tab shows all of the 1x amplitude measurements in the rack. The gap tab shows all of the gap or bias voltage bar graphs. The alarms tab will show all bar graphs currently in alarm. Since none are in alarm right now, I will cause some. Now that bar graphs have entered alarm, they have appeared on the alarm bar graphs tab. The associated relays have also appeared. A padlock icon is shown, indicating that those channels have been latched. Once the measurements have left the danger or alert set points and gone back to their normal values, it will be possible to reset the rack. Now that the measurements are below the alarm set points, resetting the rack by touching the rack reset button will remove the bar graphs from the alarm screen. Any measurement may be added to a custom bar graph page via rack configuration software. When multiple pages of bar graphs are configured, the drop down menu becomes enabled. Up to nine pages of custom bar graphs may be configured. A maximum of 96 bar graphs can be shown on a single page. The Alarm Events tab shows all of the alarm events in the rack. The System Events tab shows all system events on the rack. Pressing the Page Up arrow will attempt to load newer events. Pressing the Page Down button will load older events. 20 events will be shown on the screen at any given moment. Back in any of the bar graph screens, you can touch any bar graph to open the channel view screen. This begins loading all of the alarm events for this specific channel and displays all the associated measurements for this channel. A new feature is the alarm acknowledge column. Pressing the Alarm Acknowledge button will mark every alarm event for the current channel. Returning to the Alarm Events screen, we can see that only the events for the selected channel have been marked. If you wish to mark all events as acknowledged, pressing the Alarm Acknowledge button while on the Alarm Events screen will acknowledge all events. Returning to any Channel View screen, will reveal that all channel events have been acknowledged. Trip multiply and rack inhibit statuses are shown in the lower left. The moon button can be pressed to change the color mode. The sun indicates day mode. The moon indicates night mode. While in the channel view screen, if a new alarm event occurs, it will not appear instantly. Press the page up button to reload the alarm events on the channel view screen. The new events are shown at the top. New events can now be acknowledged by pressing the Alarm Acknowledge button. The gear icon opens the calibration screen. Press and hold until the cursors align on each of the boxes, then hit Accept. Since there are currently danger alarms in the rack, the red bell icon is shown. Since all channels are OK, the green OK status is shown. The rack address is shown in the upper right with a small down arrow to indicate that other racks are connected. If one of the other racks is in not OK or alarm status, the rack address button will change colors. Pressing the button will open a drop down menu that will reveal all connected rack statuses. Select the rack you wish to switch to and the router box will make the switch. Since one of the other racks is in danger status, the rack selection button is shown in red. 
Returning to rack 13 allows us to examine the cause of the alarm. Currently the display is in configuration mode because a new configuration is being sent from rack config software. After the configured timeout, the screensaver becomes active and shows all connected rack statuses and addresses.